Hello again folks and welcome to Black Bear Outdoors. We're out in our favorite little pistol range today and we've got something pretty cool to show you. Now, uh, I have to admit, uh, when the red dot optics for pistols first came out, I was very, very skeptical because uh, since I've been shooting pistols, I've been shooting iron sights and I was very comfortable in doing so. However, when we got the uh, SIG X Carry Legion and I was already cut for um, the Delta Point Pro or the Romeo 1 Pro, we decided, what the heck, let's give it a go. And we picked up a Romeo 1 Pro from Sig Sauer. Now, they come in two different uh, versions. You get the 6 MOA and the uh, 3 MOA. And on the advice of the Warrior Poet himself, uh, John Lovell, I went for the 3 MOA. And the reason for that is the 6 MOA does give you maybe a little bit faster acquisition of that dot. However, the 3 MOA is going to help a little bit more when it comes to more precise shots at longer distances because the dot's smaller, right? So uh, guys, true to old form, what we're going to be doing is we're going to take it into the table, take a closer look at some of the features that it offers, then we'll bring it back out here and uh, shoot at some and see what we think. Stay tuned. All right, folks, now that we've got the optic on the table, let's take a closer look at it. Just for the new shooters to get into a good habit, uh, this firearm has been checked. There is no ammo in it. It's absolutely clear and it's uh, all the directions we're going to be pointing it in is cleared as safe. Uh, I'm also wearing my rubber gloves as usual and I know there's going to be people asking why. No particular reason uh, that's very important apart from uh, under these lights, uh, you, it highlights fingerprints on the finish of a firearm and that looks nasty, so hence the gloves. All right, guys, so uh, let's take a closer look at this. So if your pistol is cut already for a uh, Romeo 1 Pro, Delta Point Pro kind of footprint, you get everything you need in the box uh, to install it, right? It comes with the screws that it's already got a little bit of Loctite on it. It comes with the correct Allen key or little hex wrench thingy. It does come with this uh, weird little plastic cover that I definitely will not be using. I don't know if anybody else would want to use a plastic cover like this, kind of a rubberish plastic thing. What is pretty cool is it comes with a steel shroud that you can add to the uh, optic if you so choose but for the purposes of this video we're going to leave it off right depends on how hard you're going to be using it and uh, the risks you take with it all right so it is a um, open emitter reflex sight which means the emitter is back there and there's a gap between the uh, lens and the emitter so that does mean that uh, if you're carrying it and so forth that there is going to be a level of maintenance required same as with your pistol because you know debris and lint and stuff can get in between the lens and the emitter you don't want that right so clean it regularly that would be a good idea um, just proper maintenance and it should serve you really well uh, one of the features that I quite like about this uh, optic is that the battery compartment is at the top there I hope you can see that um, and you can uh, replace your battery without having to remove your whole optic right SIG also provides you with this little tool with the big end there is what you're going to be using to unscrew the uh, battery cap and if you twist this open sorry it's hard to do with the gloves uh, you can put a spare battery in there you can add it to your keychain and there's also a little end on that side that you're going to use to make adjustments to your red dot side you'll notice on the side of the unit there you're going to get your uh, windage adjustment and it is clearly marked with lines there. However, it doesn't click. There's no kind of tactile kind of a, a way of setting it. So you're gonna have to pay close attention to how much you're adjusting it. Now, each adjustment according to that, uh, the manual is uh, an MOA and it can do a 100 MOA uh, windage and a 100 MOA um, elevation. Your elevation adjustment is right there and it works the same way. Again, no tactile click it's not tactile or there's no audible click so you got to pay close attention to how much you adjust it if we flip it over you'll notice the adjustment buttons are on the side they're tiny and you have 10 daytime uh, settings and two night vision settings uh, for this one now if you look through the lens you probably if you're going to see the red dot it's probably going to look huge but this is actually a 3 moa 
uh, the glass is very clear. You might see a little bit of a tint here um, on the camera, but that's nothing that bothers you while you're shooting it. So yeah, guys, it's uh, got very, very clear glass. It's a 30 millimeter uh, lens and uh, it looks pretty sleek on this uh, pistol, I must confess. I was concerned it's going to be bulky and so on. I do have a holster for it, a pretty neat holster for it coming from Works that will accommodate my little light and the optic. Uh, Works has got some beautiful uh, holsters. I'll show it to you guys when we get here, but it's currently on sabbatical in Wisconsin. The battery is said to last for 20,000 hours. Uh, something that really helps with that, and this is something I find really cool about this optic, is it's got SIG's MOTAC um, system in there, which means it's if you leave it alone for quite a bit of time, it's going to shut down, right? And as soon as it uh, feels motion, it'll uh, turn itself on. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all I got for you uh, on the optic on the table. Let's take it outside and uh, see how it goes. All right, folks, so um, in shooting the Sig Sauer X-Carry Legion, uh, I noticed my kind of sweet spot is around 12 to 15 yards. And with iron sights, I can do a fairly decent group with those. Uh, we'll roll in some footage to show you what I mean. Then we'll try the same thing with uh, the red dot and see if there's any improvement or if I can get a similar type of group. All right, guys, that wasn't too bad. We were aiming for that uh, little version of the target on the big target, and uh, we're able to hold a fairly decent group. Now, with iron sights, I have trained so much uh, with the presentation that every single time I pull up my firearm or I present it, uh, my iron sights are lined up. Now, that is not the case with the red dot right now. So that does mean that I do have a lot of practice uh, to kind of acquire that red dot really quickly. Uh, bringing it up and having it lined up straight away. So what we're going to do next is I'm just going to present a couple of times and as soon as I got the red dot on uh, the target I'm going to pull the trigger so you can get a, a half an idea of for somebody who hasn't trained that way how quickly you can pick up that red dot. So uh, let's have a go and see how it goes. So probably not as fast as I can do with uh, the iron sights at this point, but with a little bit of training, I can see how that can get really, really fast. Next, guys, let's see if uh, we can do something at a little bit longer ranges with this. With my iron sights, I can hit my target, uh, man-sized target, at 25 yards, no problem. However, once I get to that kind of ranges, my groups open up quite dramatically with uh, the iron sights. Let's see if that improves at all using the red dot.
I'm not a stellar group at uh, 25 yards, but definitely better than what I normally do with iron sights. So with a little bit of practice, I'm sure I can tighten that up dramatically with the red dot. One thing that the red dot does though, it does really show you how your natural uh, shakiness comes into play as opposed to uh, your uh, iron sights. So a little bit more practice required behind these, but I can certainly see how this can be a, a serious force multiplier. Uh, guys, this is a fantastic little optic. Uh, like I said, if you want the extra protection, you can put that uh, shroud on there. Um, the glass is really clear. It does have a little bit of a tint to it, but nothing that you'd notice while you're shooting it. There's no distortion in the, uh, uh, in the glass at all that I could see. The emitter uh, is great. It's got a really nice crisp clear dot. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, I think it's a really good option. Uh, and again, if you're a pistol is cut for this you get everything in the box you need to to uh, to install it so i would recommend personally uh, obviously we didn't torture and test it today because we paid good money for it uh, but if you do want to see a torture test on this particular optic uh, and what it's good for and what it's not good for uh, so i would suggest checking out aaron cowan's um, video on sage dynamics where he actually put this through drop tests and things like that for regular carry purposes i think this is a fantastic option uh, for range duty, I think it's a great option as well. So yeah guys, uh, if you enjoyed our video, please give us a thumbs up, uh, leave us a comment down below and hit that subscribe button on the next screen. It's gonna look like a black bear badge. And also if you guys wanna support us in a different way, we're gonna have our uh, Patreon account linked down below as well as the YouTube super thanks button. Y'all stay safe and we'll see you next time.